All right, in the last video, we talked about 1099s, how to create them and how to print them. In this video, we're gonna add employees. In the next video, we are going to pay our employees. But this is how we add employees in QuickBooks Online, and I believe it does cost more. Um, again, this isn't my, this is a trial version for the sake of the tutorial. I'm not gonna use my real QuickBooks on here because it's got a lot of personal information. And uh, a lot of people that are watching this probably are not my accountants. But let's go on with the bore fill. Okay, so we've got the employees over here. Let's click on that. Uh, it might give you some like disclaimer, like set up employee uh, or charge you money or set up for a trial. It's like the QuickBooks Online Pro version, but I'm going to assume that you did that or you clicked on the trial. Now let's go over to here. Let's go to on the right hand side, add an employee. Here we go. Employee name. We'll call this guy Bloody Murder. Email the employee name. Oh, it already exists. We'll call it. We'll call it Tupac. Tupac, that doesn't sound good. Tupac Shakur. Tupac Shakur, okay. Tupac at gmail.com. And I like it on the right-hand side. It's like auto-populating how it's kind of going to look like as we add his base pay and hourly pay. This will populate. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hire date. We hired him today. Hired him today, the 20th. Um, and... If you did sign up for the trial version, it might ask you, like, did you pay any employees in 2016 or whatever? I clicked everything no. I'm literally starting from scratch. I haven't paid anybody anything, and this is starting it all over. Okay, here we go on. How much to pay in taxes? We'll call it 20 bucks an hour. It's a pretty good wage. 20 bucks an hour. Um, and this is, see, it auto populates over here. He filled out a W-4. We're rocking and rolling. Da, 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 da. And if you do do payroll, I highly recommend getting an accountant for this. But for the most part, you know, you can add employees and you can cut them checks and sign for the checks and you can see what's going on with that. Does Tupac have any deductions? Uh, retirement, health care, 401k. Uh, I'm going to say no, but this would be the place where you would put that in. Uh, you know, health insurance, uh, garnishments, retirement plans, HSA. I don't even know what that means. And then we're, what would happen? Where's Tupac Shakur? Let's go back to Tupac. And let's go to, based on an 88 regular hours pay. Okay. Hourly. Sure. Depending on what he filled out for his W-4. W-4 is what you fill out before a job. W-2 is what you get at the end of the year. I always get those confused. Uh, bottom right, let's click on done. Before you continue, send him an email to make a personal thing. On their end, on your employee's end, they're going to see some stuff. They're going to make sure everything checks out. Uh, you send them this security code as well. So right there, who's every employee is, you send them that maybe in the subject line. They're going to get something on QuickBooks on their end. They're going to make sure that it's real and all the information checks out. Done. Over here. And that is it. Where's our Tupac Shakur? Setup invitation sent. And that's how we created an employee in QuickBooks Online. You know what? Let's just go, let's finish up. Let's go ahead and set up payroll as well too. Here is our payroll, this and that. We've got our routing number, fill out all this information. Let's go to next. And are you a sole proprietor? This and that, tell us about your employees. These are all the employees. I don't have to add any one of them. Bottom right, click on next. To, uh, this is where the buck stops, the California identification number. I don't have this. This isn't a number. You cannot make it up. You get this from the Employment Development Department. And that's kind of it. We're in compliance. After this, this goes through. Verify and sign. That's where you sign for your employees' checks. In the next video, we will talk about printing checks. How about that? All right. I'll see you guys over there. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comment section below. I'm kind of running out of energy for this playlist, but if you guys have any questions, post them in the comment section below. You're all legends. I'll answer all your questions, and I'll see you over there. Peace!